G'day. Welcome to Biodiversity Bites. Now, most people, when they try and identify a eucalypt, they think, oh, we'll need to get the fruit. Here we have some buds. Or they look at the leaves of a tree. But today, we're just gonna look at the bark. Here we have a box tree. This is an apple box. Most box trees are quite rough at the bottom, but that roughness and that uniform bark goes all the way up to the branches. That's a key characteristic. And when you're looking at a tree, don't be afraid to feel it because feeling the bark will make you remember what tree it was. Here we have a gum tree, and gum trees are quite smooth. They can be rough at the bottom. This one here is a red gum. The smoothness of the bark goes all the way up to the branches. Our next tree I'll take you down here is a stringy bark. Now the stringy bark can grow quite big. This is the biggest I've got in, it, in my lo local area at the moment, without going too far. But this is a red stringy bark, and key characteristic is a quite of a woolly, fibrous bark, and this, the bark can come off in strips, and it can be useful for lots of things. The old timers around here. Well, the early gold miners, they used it for shelter, for their roofs. And the key characteristic is that that fibrous bark goes all the way up, once again, all the way up to the branches, this fibrous bark. So even, there you go, even without finding the leaves or some fruit, by looking at the bark, it helps you to work out what sort of eucalypt it what is, and then if you really want it, you can find the leaves and the fruit. So good luck at looking out for these sorts of things in your local area.